Filipinos are the people who are native to or citizens of the country of the Philippines. Filipinos come from various Austronesian ethno-linguistic groups. Currently, there are more than 185 ethno-linguistic groups in the Philippines, each with its own language, identity, culture and history. The name Filipino was derived from the term Las Islas Filipinas, the name given to the archipelago in 1543 by the Spanish explorer and Dominican priest Rey López de Villalobos, in honor of Philip II of Spain. During the Spanish colonial period, Natives of the Philippine Islands were known by the generic terms Indio of Pedro Chirino, in which he wrote chapters entitled, Of the Civilities, Terms of Courtesy, and Good Breeding Among the Filipinos, Of Marriages, Dowries, and Divorces Among the Filipinos, while also using the term, Filipino, to refer unequivocally to the non-Spaniard natives of the archipelago like in the following sentence. The first and last concern of the Filipinos in cases of sickness was, as we have stated, to offer some sacrifice to their Anitos, or Devatas, which were their gods. In the Chronicles of Havan Francisco de San Antonio, the author devoted a chapter to the letters, languages and politeness of the Filipinos, while Francisco Antolin argued in 1789 that, the ancient wealth of the Filipinos is much like that which the Igorots have at present. These examples prompted the historian William Henry Scott to conclude that during the Spanish colonial period, the people of the Philippines were called Filipinos when they were practicing their own culture. Or, to put it another way, before they became Indios, while the Philippine-born Spaniards during the 19th century began to be called Espanyols Filipinos, logically contracted to just Filipino, to distinguish them from the Spaniards born in Spain, they themselves resented the term preferring to identify themselves as hijos del país. Historian Ambeto Campo has suggested that the first documented use of the word Filipino to refer to Indios was the Spanish-language poem A la Juventud Filipina, published in 1879 by José Rizal. Writer and publisher Nick Jokin has asserted that Luis Rodríguez Varela was the first to describe himself as Filipino in print. Apollinario Mabini used the term Filipino to refer to all inhabitants of the Philippines. Father Jose Burgos earlier called all natives of the archipelago as Filipinos. The lack of the letter, F, in the pre-1987 Tagalog alphabet caused the letter, P, to be substituted. For, F, though the alphabets and or writing scripts of some non-Tagalog ethnic groups included the letter, F, upon official adoption of the modern, 28-letter Filipino alphabet in 1987. The term Filipino was preferred over Pilipino. Locally, some still use Pilipino to refer to the people and Filipino to refer to the language. But in international use, Filipino is the usual form for both. A number of Filipinos refer to themselves colloquially as Pinoy, which is a slang word formed by taking the last four letters of Filipino and adding the diminutive suffix y in 2020 the neologism philippines appeared a demonym applied only to those of filipino heritage in the diaspora and specifically referring to and coined by filipino americans imitating latins itself a recently coined gender inclusive alternative to latino or latina an online dictionary made an entry of the term applying it to all filipinos within the philippines or in the diaspora in actual practice, however, the term is unknown among and not applied to Filipinos living in the Philippines. And Filipino itself is already treated as gender neutral. The inaccurate statement entry in the dictionary resulted in confusion, backlash and ridicule from Filipinos residing in the Philippines who have never identified themselves with the foreign term. Native Filipinos were also called Manilaman or Tagalas by English-speaking regions during the colonial era. They were mostly sailors and pearl divers and established communities in various ports around the world. One of the notable settlements of Maniliman is the community of St. Malo, Louisiana, founded at around 1763 to 1765 by escaped slaves and deserters from the Spanish Navy. There were also significant numbers of Maniliman in northern Australia and the Torres Strait.
islands in the late 1800s who were employed in the pearl hunting industries. In Latin America, Filipino immigrants arriving to New Spain during the 16th and 17th centuries via the Manila. Galleons were called Chino, which led to the confusion of early Filipino immigrants with that of the much later Chinese immigrants to Mexico from the 1880s to the 1940s. A genetic study in 2018 has also revealed that around one-third of the population of Guerrero have 10% Filipino ancestry. In 2010, a metatarsal from Calau Man, discovered in 2007, was dated through uranium series dating as being 67,000 years old. Prior to that, the earliest human remains found in T.